is dead. Police saying they've taken out the man accused of killing four police officers. This is Maurice Clemens, age 37, suspected of gunning down the officers at a coffee shop outside Seattle. The sheriff now saying they shot and killed Clemens earlier this morning, about 2.45 local time. This has the community mourns four officers, and one of them right here. This is Sergeant Mark Renninger, a devoted father of two, and family and friends saying that their lives will never be the same without him. He's always had a smile on his face. He, family man, caring, wanted to do things with the children every day. Just an all-around great guy. You know, a great brother to have, I'll tell you. Many people asking why this happened in the first place. Why was this man out on the streets? John Amaya is a defense attorney. Julia Morrow is a former prosecutor. And good morning to both of you. This guy had a rap sheet as long as your leg. Uh, literally five felony convictions back in the state of Arkansas. Eight felony charges right now in the state of Washington. Uh, Julia, how's this happen? Well, you know what, Bill, sadly, first of all, let me just say that, you know, Mike Huckabee's decision to grant this man clemency is nine years removed from the current unspeakable act he committed in murdering those four police officers. So if Huckabee's detractors are going to try to lay blame on Huckabee, they might as well blame Clemens' mother for giving birth to him in the first place. Well, we're so, going to hear you know, everyone from, needs to understand from, that. We're going to hear from the governor in a matter of moments here. He, he talked okay. to Bill O'Reilly last night, so we'll get his side of the story in a moment here. But go on, explain this. How does it happen? Okay, in our well, legal how's it, how it happened, Phil? This is, I, I'm going to say no, and here's why. When when this young when Clemens um, first got his original sentence that Huckabee uh, commuted, he was 16 years old. Bill, he was arrested. He was convicted at the age of 17. That's a child. He got a, a nearly a hundred year prison sentence for, you know, burglary, robbery. Okay, those aren't good crimes, but it's not murder. It's not rape. It was a draconian sentence. After he served nine years, he found Jesus in prison. He expressed remorse. He begged for forgiveness. He asked to be released. Huckabee released him, but he was on parole the entire time. And during that time, Bill, he picked up multiple arrests. In fact, in Washington alone, he was arrested, I think, eight times since 2004. But he none of the charges stuck. in May. Our alleged rape took right. place in May. Uh, he got That's out of jail right. and met Bond six days before he shot these four off. I mean, it, it just goes on and on. I, John, I'm just trying right, to figure Bill, this listen. out. John, did the system fail these police officers? Bill, with, with one answer, absolutely. And the fact of the matter is that it's an entire system. And if you want to just isolate one portion of the justice system, you're completely disregarding just how big it really is. And the fact of the matter is that Governor Huckabee is part of the criminal justice system when he has the authority to grant clemency, to grant pardons. He is an instrumental part in this whole thing. And he did start the chain of events. The fact of the matter here is that we're talking about personal responsibility. And what we've seen lately with the governor, and, and I'd love to hear what his response is, he is pointing the finger at everyone else. And in tongue-in-cheek fashion, He's saying, yeah, I'm responsible for part of it, but look what everyone else did. And the fact of the matter is that that's not the kind of leadership that Americans want. American wants America wants leadership that does exactly as they're told but to even do. Then, not any just governor, right? Any, and I'm not defending Governor Huckabee here. Well, again, we'll hear from him. Any governor needs permission from the parole board before permission is granted. I mean, isn't that how the law is set up, John? Absolutely, absolutely. And so the it's parole, not just, the it's not just has, one guy who's doing right? it. I just want to make that clear. No, no, no. And, and, right. and, I completely, and I completely agree with you, Bill. It's not just one person. But what I'm saying here, it's not very presidential, if you will, given what Governor Huckabee has been trying well, to do he's not a for the last couple of years. I, I want to bring politics no, 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 I, I understand in this. That. I, I understand that. I understand that. Uh, Julia, no, but, I mean, based on what yes. we can figure out about this guy's demented past, his family knew he had problems. His friends knew he had problems. And, and, and if you go back over history, whether it was Arkansas or the state of Washington, this guy's a career criminal. He is a career criminal, Bill, but for, for whatever reason, the charges didn't stick. And in fact, um, the arrest for assaulting police and raping the 12-year-old relative that occurred back in May of, of 09 that landed him in prison until just six days ago, he was in prison for several months, from May until November, at which time he made bail. So why didn't the Washington state authorities bring him to trial during that time? For whatever reason, Bill, none of the charges have stuck against this guy. Yeah, he's a career criminal, and he's as lucky as as anyone I've ever seen. He, no, he's and not lucky. He used the system. I mean, the, uh, well, this research is not hard to find. It took us all of five well, minutes to, to track down his record, Julia. 
Yeah, go, well, go I know that, but the point I'm trying to make is, you know, witnesses didn't show up, evidence was insufficient, he got out on technicalities, he's gotten lucky in terms of him being able to skate by despite all of these arrests. Then the system's and this has get nothing better, to do John. Well, the system Absolutely, does have Look, to get better. Let me, let, me, let me just explain something real quick. When we talk about, puni- when we talk about punishment in the criminal justice system, the, the, the three main points and, and goals of punishment are, are deterrence, rehabilitation, and retribution. And the fact of the matter is that in this particular case, it is very clear that there was a lot of focus on, 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 on deterrence and, and retribution, but there was no focus whatsoever on rehabilitating this person. This person should never have been released because he wasn't rehabilitated. And the parole board had an opportunity to see as such. And of course, the judges in Washington State also played a part. And I don't know all the evidence that was submitted, but as a former law clerk and former trial attorney of the Department of Justice, I know that these issues are heavily weighed upon the shoulders of these judges when they're making these calculations, but they do take the criminal history into consideration. I don't know what happened here. Uh, And it is a sad day for these families, too. They are left to mourn. And and all four of these officers let outstanding lives and leave children and spouses behind. And uh, we pray for their their families today. Julia, thank you. John, thank you as well. I know you thank both you. brought up Governor Huckabee. Uh, Maurice Clemens is the man shot and killed, age 37. Sentence was commuted by then Governor of Arkansas, Mike Huckabee, back in the year 2000. Uh, last night, the former governor explained his decision uh, on the O'Reilly factor. Roll this. This is a bad hombre, and you let him out. Why? Well, Bill, first of all, I think the uh, the tragedy of this, if I could have known nine years ago this guy was capable of something of this magnitude, obviously I would never have granted the commutation. It's sickening. The two people in this country that I value the most are soldiers and police officers because they're the only thing standing between our freedom and total anarchy. And in the case of this particular individual, he was sentenced to 108 years for two crimes when he was 16. The post-prison transfer board, the process, and I'll be very brief about this, but to understand, they recommended to me as governor for his commutation, which didn't release him. It simply cut his sentence to 47 years. That would give him parole eligibility. That was uh, the commutation. I'm responsible for that, and it's not something I'm happy about at this particular moment. Now, did you moment study it? Did you study it? I mean, look, governors yes. have a lot of this stuff. Yeah. Uh, did you study this guy? Or did you spend a lot of time on it, or did you just take the advice of your advisors? No, I, I look at every case file, and I had about 1,200 of these a year. This is what people need to understand. 92% of the time, they were denied. But in this case, the judge in the case was also recommending and the parole board on a five to zero vote because at the age of 16 the sentence he got for the crimes he committed back in 1989 was excessive from last night on the rally factor with the former governor mike huckabee after his release in arkansas back in 2000 clemens was accused of committing another armed robbery and before this seattle cop killing over the weekend he was charged with child rape and assaulting a police officer those charges in the state of Washington. 22 minutes now.